close your eyes and be aware of your breath. Take a couple of good long deep in and out breaths and notice where you feel the breathing in the body. It can be in the chest, in the stomach, in the head, in the shoulders, anywhere where it's prominent. Focus there. Then ask yourself if long breathing is comfortable. If it is, keep it up. If it's not, you can change. You can try in long and out short, in short, out long, in short, out short, heavy, light, fast, slow. Experiment for a while to see what kind of breathing feels good for you right now. You're trying to create a good foundation for the mind. You want to be able to feel at home here in the body, at ease here in the body, so that no matter where you go, there will be a sense of ease that you can carry with you. Most of the things we do in life that we later regret are because we're coming from a sense of dis-ease. We're feeling threatened, we're feeling uncomfortable. And we sometimes say, well, as long as I'm uncomfortable, let, let somebody else be uncomfortable too. We start lashing out at other people. And then you later regret it. It's because you're coming from a bad place. Well, you can create a good place simply by the way you breathe, and by talking to yourself about how good it is to keep the mind centered, grounded here in the present moment. Because this is where all your decisions are being made. You want to be here to make them clearly, otherwise they go on automatic pilot. And who knows who's making the decisions? Old habits, knee-jerk reactions. Sometimes people will ask you, why did you do that? And you ask yourself, gee, I really don't know. You weren't there. Somebody else is making the decision. So you want to make the decisions that are going to shape your life. So you've got to be right here. And you want to be here with a sense of well-being. So you're less likely to want to do something that's harmful or there are times when you just feel weak. You know the right thing to do, but you just don't feel up to it. Well, if you work with the breath, you can gain a sense of strength here in the present moment. So you're coming from a good place, a strong place. If each of us looks after our, our own place inside like this, the world would be a much better place to live in. As John Sowell used to say, each of us has only one person. In other words, the one person we're responsible for. Yeah, we tend not to be responsible. We tend to want to tell other people what they have to do, not really look after ourselves. If you look after yourself, other people look after themselves. Then it's easier to keep your balance. Think of it like being acrobats. One acrobat is on the shoulders of another one. And each acrobat has to look after his or her sense of balance, and that way it protects the other one too. If acrobat A is worried about acrobat B, or acrobat B is worried about acrobat A, they fall down. But if you look after yourself, you make it easier for other people to maintain their balance, too. This is how we can get some peace in the world. It has to come from within. It has to start with each of us. While other people are responsible for themselves or not, that's their business. You have to be responsible for yourself. So the Buddha gives you advice on how to give a good foundation inside so that your choices can be wise. As he said, the wise choice is one where you think about what's going to lead to your long-term welfare and happiness, what's going to lead to your long-term harm and suffering. Always keep the long-term in mind and act only on the impulses that you think will lead to long-term happiness. That's when you're safe and you provide protection for other people, too.